Now in Belgavi, a newly born male child has been stolen from the ward. The child was born on the 21st of July. Now the child belongs to a couple, Ganesh and Ujwala. Okay. These are CCTV uh, visuals that show the woman uh, walking into walking into the uh, wards and stealing the baby. Well, from on this, I'm joined by my colleague Akshita. Akshita, do the officials have any idea now who this woman is? Well, uh, what we do understand, Nolan, is that uh, the, uh, the cops have gone ahead and zeroed in on uh, the culprit using the particular CCTV footage that you see on your screens. Uh, you can clearly see uh, the woman. Yes, she has covered up her face, uh, but upon zooming in, you can see exactly who the woman is. Soon after she commits the crime, in fact, uh, she is seen uh, wearing a, a, a cloth around her head so as to conceal her identity. But uh, it looks like she wasn't expecting that particular CCTV camera to capture her in the act. But to take you through exactly uh, what has taken place, uh, a child was born on 21st of July. This was in uh, Belagavi, and uh, we understand uh, that the child belongs to a couple, Ganesh and Ujwala. Uh, soon after, of course, they realized that the child has gone missing. The little baby uh, was no longer there in the ward, which is when uh, they went ahead and registered uh, a case with the police. Uh, the police have seized the CCTV footage. They're trying to trace the whereabouts of the woman. It is understood that they may have uh, identified her but uh, it looks like she could be on the run as of now. In fact, we've seen many cases like this taking place, Nolan, where babies are stolen from hospitals due to a lack of security or whatever else uh, it may be. But uh, in this uh, case, fortunately, there is CCTV footage and the parents uh, did not take time in registering that police complaint. Uh, so hopefully the police will be able to track down the whereabouts of uh, this woman, Nolan. Now, what sort of action can be taken against the hospital also? Because this clearly shows there's lack of security over there. Absolutely. This is an issue that uh, every hospital seems to be having a problem with. Uh, we've seen this happen, not just, uh, of course, different parts of the states, but here in Bengaluru as well, uh, where uh, these uh, uh, wards uh, where uh, the babies are kept uh, are not provided the necessary security. Pretty much anyone can enter in. Uh, they can walk out. There's no need for any sort of IDing. Uh, it seems like uh, the hospital authorities at this point do not uh, realize the gravity of uh, the situation, especially uh, when you talk about the fact that babies can be stolen so easily. They don't seem to realize that uh, babies are also becoming a prey of sorts uh, and uh, hence that's why they need to realize that and uh, it is the need of the hour to provide proper security they usually uh, the norm is Nolan that uh, there is a, a security guard present and only nurses are uh, allowed into that particular ward to take care of these little babies but it looks like pretty much anyone can walk in take a baby and walk away without having to identify themselves uh, either as a nurse or as uh, the parent and that is probably why we are seeing so many situations no doubt out. Uh, the parents will ensure the hospital to pay the price uh, for their blunder and uh, the cops uh, probably once the case is registered will go out to question the hospital authorities and hopefully they will learn a lesson and ensure that no such incidents take place uh, once again, Nolan. Right, uh, Akshita, many thanks for all that.